Hi, this is Gilbert from PMT, and we're here at uh, Utrecht University of Applied Sciences, and I'm talking to Tom Taylor, who was our guest today when we had a conference on sustainability in projects and project management. That's true. Now, Tom, you were here presenting on sustainability, so that's something we can talk about, but you also saw a lot of young people talking about sustainability, sometimes about projects, about project management, not too much, but the, anyway, there were students in project management. What's your feeling about this? What's your feeling about the future of project management when you've seen this? Oh, I was very encouraged. I mean, you know, they, they were good people. Uh, and serious, serious about the topic. Uh, okay, you may have set the coursework and the form of inquiry and that sort of thing, but you know, they were, they got into their customers or their clients or their projects. And some of the people explaining their projects, they could have been the client, they could have been the designer or anything like that. So they, they had got into it. That's what I liked about it. And they were using the right terms. And when we came to the questions, they were arguing you know, nicely. You know, so why have you done this? And they would explain why. And uh, I was very encouraged. I thought it was a, a good day and good people. Now on this day we try to, to make the connection between sustainability and sustainable development and the role of projects in that. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you see that role? What's, because you're publishing on sustainability and project management, what's the connection to you? Oh well, well I think uh, sustainability is about change, yeah. change management. You know, we, we're in one state with the environment, we've got to get to another state. You know, it, it's all developed through, de so delivered through projects. So, um, you know, project managers have got to do it. Uh, yeah, I, I, it was interesting how this sort of iteration was taking place in some of the organisations, but they were, they were iterating by setting a policy, but not necessarily delivering it. So, you know, it looked good on the website, it looked good in their statements and this sort of thing, but you feel that the people were not quite with it. Uh, but that's because projects take a while, take a long yeah. time. Uh, my, my particular interest is, is this transition period we're in, uh, where the next generation are going to be so useful and helpful, you know, and that, that we don't get sustainability set up at the beginning, delivered in the middle, that's fine. Uh, we're getting people even after projects have been completed saying, so what's the sustainability criteria? Yeah. Yeah. We're saying, hang on a minute, when you gave us the brief or the statement, you didn't even mention this, and now you, now you want it. So our project managers have to be prepared for this stuff being requested, asked for, new regulations, new legislation, utility costs going up, that sort of thing, you know, yep. changing environment, which is which is great for project managers, because if it was easy, uh, sure. somebody else could do it. You know. Now you're a practitioner turned into a presenter, an author, uh, a part-time academic even, even sometimes. <laughs> do you see this happening already? Do you see practice moving towards basically the agenda you, you just mentioned, worried about sustainability? Oh, practice definitely is, yeah. I, 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 I talk about this decade you know, we're in now, and I think by the end of this decade it'll be a lot clearer. Uh, in the scientific sense of you know, global warming, rising sea levels, uh, you know, replacements for oil, these sorts of things will be, which are unclear at the moment. Can we capture carbon? Can we store it? I think we will know better uh, by the end of this uh, decade. And I think this generation from the last five years, what's happening now, you know, in 10 years' time, these people who are now in their early 20s or so will be in their early 30s. They will have influence. You know, they will be leading project managers. There will be people in boardrooms as directors as well, who have been educated in, in sustainability. And to be quite honest, if you're over 30 or 35, you probably did not get a single module at, at the university. So, you know, now I put my hand up as well. So it'll be interesting to have people who are intuitively from schools, from their clubs and their universities and you know the work you're doing here, uh, you know, not just with the main mainline students but as modules elsewhere. Yep. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I think I think the next ten years, both in us being ready and what is the real demand yep. will come clear. So that doesn't mean we have to say we have to wait. <laughs> that no. makes the next ten years even more exciting in a way. Yeah. So if you look at the profession, if you look at practitioners, how can they prepare for these next 10 years until things become more clear? What should they do now? 
the practitioners. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think. Well, I've, I've been doing some stuff for and with practitioners. They have to catch up. You know, these these people who have not uh, had any education in it, and they have to read the books. They have to do the CPD. They have to go on courses and modules and training, and not just do that. Take it back. Take it back to their practices. Take it back to their organisations. Take it back to their projects. But the thing is, this is not going to happen overnight. I was, I was talking to a couple of your students, and they were saying, you know, they've been on internships, you yep. know, sort of a year out type of thing. And, um, they're saying, well, they've made all these clever suggestions, and you know, the people who are employing them said, look, you're just here for an internship. You're not supposed to change anything. <laughs> uh, and I said, don't worry about that. At least it's not the other way around, where they're saying, come on, you're supposed to come up with good ideas, and you're going, I haven't got any. Um, your chance will be coming up, and it's coming up quicker than you think. So, uh, absolutely. Uh, I thought I thought the presentations were really good. They, they got into it. Their enthusiasm, technique can always be improved. Uh, belief, commitment, enthusiasm. It was there. I really enjoyed it. Tom, it has been a pleasure having you here. Thanks a lot. I'd like to come again in, say, ten years' time and see how you're getting on. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. a lot.